you've got your hose reel put together and you're ready to put your new Ely polyurethane garden hose onto the reel. I'm going to show you the proper way to prepare and get it started onto the reel. That might seem straightforward, but it's not. Uh, polyurethane uh, garden hose and its unique properties will handle differently than any other type of hose you've used before. I mean, it is the best hose out there. It's got all the attributes that consumers like you have been looking for. It's drinking water safe, it's kink resistant, it's lightweight, it's tough as nails, it's got crush proof fittings, non-marking, but again, because of its unique properties, it will handle differently and it takes just a little bit of getting used to. So let's uh, get it out of the box. <clears throat> So, it'll come like this. You're going to want to put the end with the female fitting at the bottom of the coil and the end with the male fitting at the top. Now, what you don't want to do is hook it up to the reel right away and start rolling it on to the reel from this coil. If you do that within two minutes, you're going to hate the hose, you're going to hate us, you're going to hate life, and we don't want that. Uh, our job is to make your life easier and more enjoyable with our products. So what we need to do is get the hose all pulled out straight. That's why I'm on this long sidewalk. This is 175 foot of hose. And so we're gonna get it pulled out and get all the loops out of it, okay? And then when we do that, then we'll be ready to uh, hook it up to the reel and reel it in. When I get it to the end, I'm gonna pull this male end all the way back to the reel for, uh, here and I'll explain why I'm doing that. But you wanna grab the male end and when you pull it out, <clears throat> you want to have your grip loose enough that the, the hose is able to spin in your hand because as you pull the hose out and the loops start to flip out of, their, out of the loops, it's going to want to spin. Now most other types of hose, when you do that, they, they would just collapse down into a kink in the loops, but polyurethane, again because it's the material we use and the unique type of reinforcement knit that we build our, our hoses with, it'll have a tendency to flip out of the loop rather than collapse down into a kink. So um, now when I first start out here, it'll be fine, but when I get towards the end and when most of the weight is off of this, uh, you're going to want to anchor uh, this female end uh, to something so that, because when you get towards the end, you're going to have to pull a little bit harder. And if you hook it up to a reel like this, this is our, our uh, four-wheel wagon reel. Uh, again, it's very durable, it's made out of aluminum, but it weighs about 30 pounds. And if you attach it to that, when you get towards the end, you'll just pull that reel over. So the best thing to do, uh, if it is a wall mount reel or a post mount, you can go ahead and attach it to your reel because those are securely anchored. But if it's a portable unit like this or the freestanding model, you're gonna want to probably attach it just to the faucet, directly to the faucet if you're by yourself. If you have somebody with you, you can have them grab a hold of the female end and the, the two of you can stretch it out. So um, as I get towards the end, I'll have my son Casey grab the female end and we'll get all the loops out of it and then we'll show you how to roll it onto the reel. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. I have the hose through the hose strap already and as you can see there's a natural arc to the hose we want that going with the same arc of the reel and now I'm just going to bring that through here and I can bring as much hose as I want through the flange to get it attached easy and we want to make sure that arc stays there when you get it tightened down we don't want the hose to twist and now just draw the hose back pulling on the hose by the hose strap under here until you get it tight onto the drum. And it doesn't have to be tight, but just snug like that. And now we tighten down the hose strap. 
Okay, so the reason I walked the male end all the way back to the reel, um, there's two reasons for that. Number one, uh, this is a 175 foot hose. So uh, if I was to start reeling it in, I'm dragging against 175 feet of, of hose. And when you're actually using it at, uh, full of water, you got all that water weight. Um, so you're, it's just a lot easier to pull in only half the length of the hose instead of the full length. So I've got 87 and a half feet going out, making a U-turn and 87 and a half feet coming back. If it was a 200 foot, then I got 100 foot going out, 100 foot coming back. Most common length of hose we have is 100 feet on our standard capacity reel. If you do this, then you want your you have 50 feet going out and 50 feet coming back. You're only pulling against 50 feet of hose instead of the weight of 100 feet of hose. So it just makes it a lot easier uh, and less effort to roll the hose in. So now that we've got the hose straightened out, we can start rolling it in. Now, there's two factors that uh, will determine what your, the capacity of your reel, how much hose you can get on a reel. One is the diameter, the outside diameter of the hose. Um, ours, not all hoses have the same outside diameter. For example, this is our polyurethane hose. Its outside diameter is 7 eighths of an inch. It's a 5 eighths inch hose. Well, if you get a 5 eighths inch rubber hose, that outside diameter is a lot thicker. And that, in fact, it's about an inch and an eighth, inch and an eighth. So it's a quarter inch wider um, on the rubber hose than this. So you're not going to get near as much hose on your reel with rubber hose as you will with our polyurethane hose. Plus, this is a much better hose. Um, the other factor that determines how much hose you can get on the reel is how uniformly you roll the hose back onto the reel. How evenly you'll level wind it on there. You can roll it up in a hurry and be real sloppy about it you're not going to get as much hose on there. But if you take your time and do a nice level wrap pattern, you can maximize uh, the amount of hose you can get on there. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, one other thing is some people ask us if they should pressurize the hose full of water before they roll it onto the reel. With some hoses, you might need to do that. But with ours, you don't. Because our hose, the polyurethane material, and the type of reinforcement that we put in there, our hose does not collapse. And it's gonna hold its, its full diameter even when there's no water in there. Other, other hoses made from different material, that would be a problem, and yeah, you might wanna pressurize it. But with our hose, you don't have to do that. Plus, you're not dragging that water weight in as well. So, now that we got, let's go ahead and get it rolled in. When you go to roll it in, the first couple revolutions are gonna be the trickiest. They're gonna be the one that require the most effort because you have no weight on your reel and all the weights out here. So, but once you get going, the more weight, the more hose you get on the reel, the more weight you get on the reel, it's easier gonna, it's gonna be a lot easier. You're gonna get that centrifugal force working for you. And by the time you get to the end, it's gonna require very little effort at all. So we'll go ahead and get it rolled in. And the thing about level winding it on, <clears throat> the more you do it, the better you'll become at it and the faster you can do it. And you can see you want to just go in a nice uniform pattern here. And it doesn't take that much to get it, the hose nest right against each other. And again, I should have timed myself, but you can see I'm going to be able to roll up 175 feet of hose rather quickly and with a pretty nice uniform pattern. And if you get caught up, just stop, back it up, and start over get it straightened out. And there you go, that's 175 feet, just 25 feet shy of our longest length of 200 feet. And doesn't that look nice? So again, this is how you wanna unbox, straighten out our polyurethane hose, get it back onto the reel, and now, you're in great shape. Anytime you use it, pull it out, bring the hose back, reel it in, and you're good to go.